there's another polynomial identity that'll help you remember how to factor things like this, which is called the sum of cubes, or the difference of cubes. The reason it's called the sum of cubes and difference of cubes is because these are the cubes, a cubed, b cubed. And the way you do it is by remembering soap. Okay, that'll help us, uh, that little acronym will help us through this. It stands for same, opposite, always positive. So here's the way this works. A plus B. See, that's the same sign. It's a plus sign. And then we have A squared opposite means a minus sign. Minus AB. And then always positive at the end plus B squared. There's your factored form. And likewise, let's do the next one. What's the same sign as a minus? This minus sign right here. Well, minus. So that's going to be A minus B, not plus B. And then we have a squared. And what's the opposite of a minus? Well, that's a plus. So you have plus a b in the middle. And then always positive at the end. So you have a plus b squared here. There's your factored form of the sum of cubes and the difference of cubes. Now, the a squared and the a b and the b squared, those take a little time to remember. And there's different ways that you may have been taught in class to do that. That's great. Um, I think this sign... Um, trick is the most useful. Same, opposite, always positive. Soap. So let's put that to work. Let's use it to factor something that looks quite, quite crazy. What do we have here? Notice something here. This is a cube. 125 is 5 cubed. And 27, that's also cubed. 3 cubed. So I'm going to rewrite this in the following way. I'm going to say 5 omega cubed plus 3 psi cubed. Okay, I haven't changed anything. I've just rewritten it from a standard form to a, a little bit more factored form, where I have 5 omega in parentheses and 3 psi in parentheses. And now we can use that, uh, that factoring identity from above, up here. I'm going to rewrite this to say, okay, I know it's, uh, let's see, a plus b. Okay, so what's a? It's 5 omega. And what's b? It's 3 psi. So there's my a plus b. And now I need a squared. Well, a squared, I mean, if, if a is equal to 5 omega, then a squared is equal to 25 omega squared, right? So this is going to be 25 omega squared. And then b is equal to 3 psi. That means b squared is equal to 9 psi squared. Okay, so we're going to have a plus 9 psi squared over here at the end. And what's in the middle? Well, it's opposite, so I know it's a minus sign, and it's going to be a times b. In other words, 5 omega times 3 psi. Well, that's uh, 5 times 3 is 15, and it's omega, and it's psi. So there we go. That is our factored form right here. Okay, so we are all done. Um, wow, that was not supposed to happen. Well, okay, hopefully you got it.